I know what you're thinking. Why would anyone wake up at four o'clock in the morning? For most of my life, I was never really a morning person. I've always been the person running late because they overslept. As I got older and took on new responsibilities, I came to realize that the 24 hours we're given are not simply enough to accomplish everything that the day requires of us. I have two little boys that wake up at 6 a.m., so if I want to beat them, I found that 4 a.m. is the perfect time to do so. I use my Apple Watch to wake me up through gentle vibrations on my wrist. This way, I don't wake up the rest of the family with loud alarms while I begin my day. The first thing I do when I wake up is drink a cup of water to rehydrate my body. Not only does it hydrate me, but it also takes me out of that foggy state of mind after waking up. I quickly change into my workout clothes that I set out the night before, brush my teeth, and head to the gym. I'm already sweating it out at the gym, nourishing my body and mind with a burst of physical activity. I find that it really sets a positive tone for the day and it fills me with energy. I work out for about 45 minutes and then I head home to get ready for the day. Nothing beats a post-gym shower. Then I like to have this time to take care of my skin and prepare my physical self for the day ahead. And keep it really simple with a cleanser, a toner, and sunscreen. Then I do my makeup and blow dry my hair. Then at 6 a.m., it's time to journal and plan my day. This part is special to me because it allows me to be fully prepared for what lies ahead. I believe in planning with flexibility, leaving room for deviations and new opportunities. When journaling, I like to use these prompts. Number one. What are you grateful for today? This simple question reminds me of the blessings in my life, big and small. Number two, what's weighing on your mind? Addressing any concerns helps me clear my head and approach the day with a positive mindset. And number three, what's today's big goal? How does it relate to your bigger goal for the month? 
Aligning my daily goals with my long-term vision keeps me focused and motivated. Once I've cleared my mind, I write out my to-do list for the day, setting achievable tasks that contribute to my personal growth and well-being. By 6.15 a.m., I'm usually buzzing with energy, as my body and mind have already been nurtured. I filled up my cup, so I'm ready to take care of others. After a little dancing and kissing, I get breakfast started for the family. As an adult, it can be so overwhelming when we have a to-do list that's piling up and it feels like the only time left for ourselves are the scraps after we've fed everyone else. I recently decided that for myself, that wasn't good enough. I deserve to give myself the same amount of love that I give to others because that's the only way that I can cultivate even more love. By nurturing my own well-being, I can be a better mother, partner, and friend. For today's breakfast, I'll be making croffle. It's when you turn a croissant into a waffle. Once the kids leave for school at 8, I clean up the house. Daily chores used to be something I really hated and avoided. But my mindset towards them has shifted. Dishes to wash means that there was food to eat. Toys to pick up means playful mornings with my kids. Crumbs to vacuum means a well-fed family. With that in mind, it gives me a grateful perspective on my daily tasks. On the days when I can't get up in the morning, I remind myself of this powerful thought. Imagine you reach the end of your life and you get to see who you could have become if you had put in the work, what the plan was for you all of the impact you could have made and the lives you could have changed. When that time comes for me, I don't want to ask myself, what happened? I want to say, yeah, I did that. I did that and so much more. wake up at four in the morning. It's not just a routine for me. It's an intentional act of self-love and personal growth.
snooze button. Consider waking up to a world full of possibilities.